Hello people on the other side of the internet. During a recent group event, the idea came up to do something useful with SRVs for a change. Shooting Commander Burr while he is driving. As this was at least questioned by the commander supposedly being shot at, we did a fair thing. We used democracy. The majority was in favor of this idea, only one vote against. Guess this teaches something about the need to have protection of minorities in democracy. Well, we don't have that yet, so last week it happened. To give a faint chance of survival to the driver, some rules were set up. The SRV must not be targeted. The ships must be more than 300 meters above the ground and the ships are allowed to turn around all axes but must not change their position. It turns out SRVs are really small targets and they are not too easy to hit. But with the sheer amount of firepower from the heavens above, that did not help much. Other drivers joined in, but nobody survived for long. As we were slowly running out of SRVs, but still had some time left, some people started to ask questions about the force shell effect in landed ships we had used to launch an SRV into orbit before. So we moved on and did a demonstration of this. But what would happen if you drop something heavier than a SRV or a canister of bio waste on a charged ship? We had other spaceships at hand. So why not give it a try? The Mighty Eagle. I think it was this one, or some other small ship, that actually also went into space. A place where you should, by belief of this game, only be in super cruise. And if you are in super cruise, there is no need to activate your frameshift drive. I hope the commander in question by now has found a way to end his ongoing drift, or if not, will at least find Rexler this way. But if small ships bounce like that, I mean, an orca would sure be too much. Or the anaconda being as huge as it is. The Type 10 then. This one is too heavy to slow down with huge thrusters. No way it can be moved by a parked ship. Well, we ran out of options with ships at this point. Whatever we threw at the ship just bounced off. This is a very potent technology repellent as it seems. So the burpit left this planet, but will gather somewhere for the next event. Thanks for everyone participating.